Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. Just give us a sense, of, if you would, as to how your open week went uh, as you prepare to renew acquaintances, renew acquaintances rather, with Tulsa, please. Well, we had a productive week last week. Um, again, got a head start on on our uh, opponent this week, uh, being Tulsa, and uh, had our staff uh, go out on the road uh, recruiting on the, on Friday and Saturday. So again, it's uh, we're a couple weeks away from uh, our student athletes beginning finals. So it was a good. Uh, Again, our third bye week came at a good time. Uh, we're a little bit banged up, got some guys healthy, uh, began our preparations for Tulsa, and uh, continued to uh, uh, focus uh, our young men on, on their academics as we uh, gear up toward the finals in about two weeks. We'll take questions for Coach Levine, please. Star 1 on your telephone to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. Go to Dan Tortor of Dan Tortor Broadcast. Yeah. Hi, Coach. How are you doing today? Good, Dan. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. Uh, you kind of went into what I was going to ask you first about, which was uh, if this bye week hindsight being 2020 came at a perfect time. You said that it did. What were some of the things on the on the field for you, maybe even going back and looking at game film, that this really made the bye week the best time for you? What were you kind of seeing from the team that you thought, you know what, we really did need this week? Well, you know, we've Dan. It's um, I don't want to sound like I'm uh, contradicting myself. I mean, we we we've had three bye weeks, and when the schedule comes out, uh, you, you're uh, going to be hard pressed to find a, a coach saying, "Well, this this bye week came at a really poor time." Uh, <laughs> you know, we were banged up. It's the end of the season. Uh, it's the uh, uh, almost the end of November. Um, so to have three bye weeks and they were spread out a little bit uh, over the course of the season naturally. And again, we've we've been playing midweek games and and uh, really the, the last two games were our first two uh, that were back to back on Saturdays and the only two this season. So um, you know, again, I think it, uh, it it's the final bye week. It's the end of November. It gave us an opportunity to uh, with with finals coming up uh, for student athletes starting in two weeks. You know, again, continue to. Uh, uh, focus on that aspect of of uh, of this season. Um, uh, you know, get some guys that are banged up healthy, and I think every coach in the country would tell you right now their their student athletes are banged up at this time of the year. And then and then again, gave us an opportunity to begin preparations for Tulsa, much like we did uh, uh, heading into the South Florida game a couple weeks ago. So again, it it uh, we had a plan in place. So we stuck to that plan. In terms of what our schedule was going to be, um, how we were going to conduct the week in terms of practice, and, and our focus for our student athletes, and then we were able to use Friday and Saturday um, to uh, send our entire staff out on the road recruiting. As far as in that recruiting area, Bill Blankenship had just talked about it a little bit that his team goes up against yours when it comes to recruiting. There's other teams, obviously, in your area that you're going up against. How do you feel the Houston product has been? received in the here and now even on this last trip do you really feel like it's it's where you need it to be how do you feel the name is kind of carrying you when it comes to recruiting no i think it's been received uh, tremendously and i think the name has grown i think uh you know nationally uh we have been known in the past for for uh you know a couple of things certainly most recently are what we've done offensively and now, uh, with the exposure we've gained from moving to the American Athletic Conference and, and being uh, playing every week on some sort of uh, ESPN brand, uh, along with uh, TDECU Stadium, you know, I, I mentioned this in an interview yesterday. Um, really, this is the the first time in my seven years here uh, uh, total, both as an assistant and head coach, that we've uh, really actively uh, tried to get uh, recruits and their families uh, to our home games and, and showing them our stadium and showing off our facilities. So I think I think uh, our brand has grown. I think uh, the exposure, again, we've been able to uh, get playing uh, nationally televised games. We had two Thursday night uh, ESPN games already this season. Um, has, has really helped our program as a whole, our school as a whole, and, and uh, we're feeling it and seeing it recruiting. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate it. Thank you. Do you have any other questions for Coach Levine today? Star one on your telephone, if so. No further questions. Coach, we will thank you for your time, and today we look forward to talking to you again next Monday. Great. Thank you.